Hey everyone, it's Ryder from Skip. I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to tell you how I got this YouTube channel from 100 subscribers to over 100,000. It's been an incredibly rewarding journey. I'm also going to share for the first time the revenue in detail, how much we've made over these past couple years. So if you're a creator, YouTuber, you want to grow your channel or just hear our story, be sure to watch this video. I have a few special surprises at the end. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing, turning on on the alerts and liking this video it really helps us in the YouTube algorithm I've spent a lot of time on this channel talking about funding specifically EIDL funding PPP funding other small business funding and stimulus checks but today I want to take you behind the scenes a little bit and share how we got to where we are we just crossed hundred thousand subscribers on December 31st the last day of the year our next milestones to get to a million here are the three biggest tips I've learned along the way number one I just got started recording videos and I never used any special video equipment or lighting just my laptop and iPhone the second point is expertise I've developed expertise along the way I'll go into how I did that and what you can keep in mind when you're growing your channel and the third point consistency this definitely helps the YouTube algorithm I've kept at it even when I've traveled around the world so almost exactly four years ago I posted my first video on the skip channel it was about the DMV you know we we started Skip as a company to help people skip the red tape, specifically help them with DMV related services. So a lot of those early videos were about booking DMV appointments or taking DMV road tests. In fact, our first viral video just crossed 1 million views. It was me in the backseat of one of our concierge's cars with my iPhone filming her describe the California road test and what the examiners look for. That was it, me with my iPhone. Then I took the video, did some edits in iMovie and uploaded it to YouTube and that now has over a million views. So over the next couple years, I put up probably a couple dozen videos related to the DMV, but then everything changed in March, 2020. Of course, everything changed for everyone then, specifically for small businesses and individuals who needed help. That included stimulus checks, EIDL funding and PPP funding. Here's one of those first early videos where I did a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to apply for an EIDL loan. That was a big deal. You know, I went through it myself because we also needed funding. Once I went through it, it took several hours for me to go through and then I thought, how can I better explain this so other people can save time and apply for EIDL loans? And so that's what I did, a screen recording. I was just narrating the screen recording and then doing some edits in iMovie to tighten it up and to take out some of the pauses, which definitely helped. And that video was before the CARES Act was passed. It was before the new EIDL form and before the new $10,000 EIDL grants. All of those I covered in detail. Then I tried to get sources inside the SBA who could point out data or help explain things. So that's my second point, developing expertise. Obviously, this was a unique moment in time. People needed funding to save their business or to keep food on the table, to pay rent, etc. So I dedicated a couple hours every single day to researching and then putting up videos. You know, before March 2020, we'd get around a thousand views per day. Then it shot up to the thousands, then tens of thousands. And today we're getting between 10 and 20,000 views on average per day. But there's definitely spikes along the way. Let me give you a few examples. Our top video videos are all DMV road test related. This is the one we have over a million views followed by the New York behind the wheel driving test and the Massachusetts behind the wheel driving test. Then we have three EIDL related posts. Number one, how to qualify for the full 10K EIDL grant. A huge hit. We went step by step how to fill out the form, how to see if you qualified for the targeted grant. Behind that, what the SBA EIDL loan document looks like and then how to get the full $10,000 EIDL grant according to the new legislation. That was from July, 2020. Now I'm gonna share the revenue numbers in a minute, but let me pull up the last 365 days. You can see it in more detail here. You know, some of the higher days are around 40,000 views per day. Now let me switch to watch time. This is one of the most incredible things. 364,000 hours of watch time over the past year. Collectively, folks have spent over 40 years in the last year watching our channel. And you can quickly see a theme. New SBA EIDL portal alerts, EIDL loan increase, new $1,000 grants, what the targeted EIDL grant approval email looks like 
and so on and so forth. So many of these videos have been the expertise in EIDL funding. You know, if you search EIDL recipients or PPP recipients, chances are you'll come across one of our posts or one of our videos. And for that, we are very thankful. But let me get to the subscribers, which is the point of this video. When did we get those big spikes in subscribers? You can see here, most days over the past year have been around 200 subscribers per day with a few spikes. For example, April 27th last year, almost 600 new subscribers. And then in December, we had a day with almost 1,000 subscribers. This is when we reannounced our $1,000 grant programs. In case you're unaware, we've donated most of our YouTube revenue back to subscribers of this channel since August 2020. The reason for that? Well, it was around the time when people were waiting for second stimulus checks, summer 2020. And I thought, well, what's a small thing we can do to help some people and try to inspire other creators to do the same? Which by the way, some did. So we said, let's start picking winners to give out $1,000 grants to. So we continue to do that. If you're ever interested in entering our $1,000 grants giveaway, I'll leave a link to that above and in the description. So besides the EIDL expertise, what really helped us get over the edge was being consistent, posting near daily videos. And that helped for two reasons. Number one, your audience, your subscribers know what to expect. They can look forward to you posting a video on a regular cadence. And that's a good signal for YouTube. You know, if your viewers know when to expect your posts, they're more likely to watch your video in the first 30 minutes or hour. And that's the sweet spot for the YouTube algorithm. You'll be able to tell within the first 30 minutes typically if this video is going to get a lot of views or not. And based on that, YouTube will decide to show it to more people or not. So the key there is for your fan base to know when you're going to post, to see you as being consistent, give them a reason to come back and when they can expect your videos. Okay, let me go to the big surprise. Before I unveil our total estimated revenue over the past couple years, we were monetized on April 9th, 2020. So it's been around 20 months that this channel has been monetized. One of our first days of being monetized was $9.67. Today, the average is about $500 per day, which is great because it means we can give more grants back to folks watching this channel. Here's the view over the past 365 days. You can see the range of revenue from 200 to 300 per day. Some of the highest days, $1,100 last April 26, 900 on December 14th. And let me zoom in here over the past 28 days. You can see the consistency in posting videos. There were a couple days where I couldn't post videos and the view count and the revenue drops substantially. So that's how we got to over 100,000 YouTube subscribers. Again, the three main takeaways. Number one, just get started. All I had was my iPhone, my computer, QuickTime, and iMovie, and that's all I did. Yes, some of those first videos have terrible lighting and terrible audio, but the key was point number two, the content and the expertise, finding something that is unique, to YouTube and that you enjoy talking about. I enjoyed reading reports from Congress, reading SBA policy documents. Based on that, I could crunch numbers and share insights with you. I had fun doing that every single day. So when you choose what you want to develop your expertise in, make it something that you're going to enjoy so you can stick with it, which leads to point number three, consistency and reliability. There's a tendency in life to give up when you don't see immediate results. This channel was up for two or three years. Before I committed to talking about funding, stimulus packages, EIDL, PPP in March 2020, since then I've tried to do at least a few videos every single week and there's been stretches where I do daily videos. I hope this has been helpful. If you found it somewhat interesting or insightful, consider subscribing. We've got more behind the scenes videos coming out, including exactly how I've edited videos. And of course, if you're an entrepreneur or a small business owner, if you're looking for funding, do get in touch with us. We've got lots of great links. We've got amazing people that can help you get funding. Thanks for tuning in. Most importantly, stay well, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.